Dead by Daylight is doing one of the best promotions for an upcoming chapter they've done in a long time. A lot of fun. We're all trying to tease stuff from it. There's lots of hints. There's lots of sprinkles across the internet. And we're going to break down everything we know at this point, including what dropped today. Well, across the internet. <laughs> but before we do that, welcome back. And if you're new to the channel, I am Old Head Gaming. If you want to stay up to date on all the latest Dead by Daylight information, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Keep a lookout for the shorts, for codes, etc. As de all Dead by Daylight news. Now, February 20th. A mere couple of days away, we're less than a week, the PTB for Chapter 31 will be live. And it's very, very clear they're going a very creepypasta type, whether it's an actual collab with creepypasta or just a creepypasta-esque approach is yet to be remained. And it could be an original chapter. It could be a license. We haven't really gotten any official word either way, even though we are on four consecutive licenses since Nick Cage. It was Nick Cage. It was Alien. It was Chucky, and last ch mid-chapter was Alan Wake, so four in a row, and if they go the creepy pasta way, which is possible, it would be five. Now, if they did go the creepy pasta way, it clearly would be the rake, as they are hinting that this creature that the new killer is going to be is very rake-esque. Now, is it the rake? I don't know. We are not sure. But for those of you who are Creepypasta fans, this has to be very fun for you this week because they just dropped some more hints, this time on a different DVD channel, on Twitter, all the way on their Japan. So it's kind of sprinkling stuff throughout the internet. They've dropped stuff on Instagram. They've dropped stuff on Reddit. They've dropped stuff kind of everywhere. And people have been pulling it all together to create this story. But this is the great thing because Creepypasta is all about spreading these internet stories and making them come to life. And that is exactly how the approach for Dead by Daylight is. We're going to see what was showing up as basically alerts from this backdoor camera and then what the backdoor camera caught. Backdoor open. Loud sound detected. Motion detected. Front yard. Motion detected, front yard. Motion detected, front yard. So they've been tying all these things into this family on Green Peaks Road being terrorized by some mysterious force that's trying to lure them out into the backyard it's driving the dogs crazy it's getting glimmers caught like an arm in this one something flopping across definitely not canine like and i love what they're doing i love how they're building this soft lore with this family i've heard audio versions where they've tweaked stuff and they've removed sound you can hear the bases like there's so much cool stuff that people are trying to dig into to find out exactly what this creature is. And it is definitely, we're getting some form of monster. It's gonna give Demo Puppy a friend, which is always good. And it's gonna be a very different tweak on what we've had for a killer in a while. And this is something exciting. I love when Dead by Daylight and Behavior thinks outside the box and does a different approach than other than what they've done the last two times where they've dropped that teaser, which, of course, on the channel, we guessed correctly, was Chucky and Alan Wake. And now I don't think we're going to get that exact approach. We've had this long, prolonged approach where they're dropping stuff on different parts of the Internet. And I love that they're building lore for this creature by spreading it out, letting people talk about it, letting people think about it, giving it life. And this is exactly what Creepypasta was about, was bringing these creatures that were here out into the universe. I mean, that's the whole story of Slender Man. And this is a brand new approach for Dead by Daylight that has been tremendously exciting. Now, I did all the different audio files and pictures, etc. when we were talking about Chapter 31 that had been sprinkled up to date, but now there's more stuff there's that slight picture that is caught on camera that you saw earlier, and I'll run it again here because it's only six seconds long. And tell me what you think. What do you think the creature is? Do you think it's the rake? Is this an official crossover of Creepypasta, or is it their own form of mimic monster that is trying to lure people into the fog? I want to hear your thoughts in the comments below. As always, thanks for watching. Later, mates.